Back in 2008, I think I was like 23 or 24. I just recently broken up with my girlfriend for like, we were dating for like six years. I was sad, I was depressed. And like most sad or depressed people, they either go to two places, the bar or church. I went to church. And I found myself sitting in the farthest pew, the furthest chair that I could find. On that day, there was a special guest, this guy and his organization that would go all, all over the world giving clothing and shoes to orphans. And they had this beautiful presentation. And at the end of the presentation, the pastor of the church said, who wants to go with them on their next trip? It was gonna be all expenses paid for, the ticket, the visa, the passport, everything. Obviously I'm a little depressed and I'm just like, I just wanna leave the country. I know, I know. I'm overreacting, but that's how I felt. And I thank God for that breakup because it literally led me down a path of traveling and exploring and being adventurous. I don't know, maybe that's why I'm here in Croatia. And so I got everything. I got my passport, my visa, I got my ticket and I'm ready to go. I end up going to Paraguay for two weeks. And let me tell you, it was such an amazing time. We literally went from orphanage to orphanage, just passing out clothing, taking off little dirty socks and putting in new socks. It was just, uh, it was life changing. I loved it so much that I was like, I want to stay. A little drastic, but yes, that's what I said. I wanted to stay. And so I told the leader of the group, hey, what do I gotta do to get a job here? And he looked at me and he was like, are you serious? I was like, 100%. And I think he thought like, uh, let him, let me get him back into the States, back to Florida. And maybe he'll like change his mind and then he'll be like, ah, oh, this was a bad idea. But I was certain I wanted to stay. I wanted to help out. So he just connected me with the right people and with the local school uh, in that area. And they connected me with another school in literally the middle of the desert. And they said, if you come back, you will be working here. And so I end up going back to Florida. And when I go to Florida, I'm like getting everything ready. I went to my job in which I've had for like two and a half years. It was a great job. I was working for an engineering firm and I told them, I'm not gonna be working here anymore and I'm leaving to go live in Paraguay. They looked at me kind of weird, and but they were like, we respect that. And when you get back, you don't have to quit. When you get back, your job will be waiting for you. So technically, you know, I didn't quit or they fired me. They just put my job on hold. It was a great company. And then on top of that, this is crazy. I got three people hired onto this job. And apparently when you get somebody hired into this specific job, you get a bonus for every individual that stays in that job for more than six months. And in my case, it was three people. So I got three different bonuses. And the bonus was $1,000 each. You guys, I'm 24 and I had no idea how I was going to pay for my bills while I was gone. And this just answered my prayers. So next thing you know, I'm going to Paraguay to live there for the next six months. And so I ended up going to this place that was out in the middle of the desert. And I was teaching English and Bible at the school. I mean, this school was in the middle of nowhere, guys. I mean, I, we had to wash our own clothes by hand at, at, a, at a local lake. We had to wait for it to rain in order to get water. We um, I had to kill like five snakes a day because they were everywhere, sometimes in your room, um, while you're sleeping, you would literally have roaches crawling on you. I mean, truth is eventually you got used to it because like it's either you sleep or you had to fight off the roaches at night. Nonetheless, it was such an amazing experience. But I will say one thing I learned in that entire trip, you can't run from your problems. I tried, I tried to run away from my sadness, my depression, but the truth is, it will catch up to you. But that trip definitely helped me out. It was what I needed in that time.